We still have dessert to come, ladies and gentlemen. I want to share with you a story, if I can have your attention. An incredible story about motherhood. It's about you. It's a story about you, parents. In Bnei Brak, some 60, 70 years ago, maybe it's more, when the great Panavish Yeshiva, great Yeshiva in Bnei Brak, the rabbi there, Rabbi Kahanamin, he was laying the cornerstone of the building. And as he was laying the cornerstone of the building, the building was being built, an incredible undertaking to build one of the greatest yeshivot in the world. He was sobbing, crying. The great Chazon Ish, Gadol Hador, from the greatest Jews to live in the last few hundred years, went over to the rabbi who was building the yeshiva and he said to him, you're crying? That's good. Tears are good. It's good to cry. A yeshiva is built with tears. If you're crying, that's good. That's the only way to build a makom Torah. The next day, this Rabbi Kahneman came into the class that he taught. And he told over that yesterday we were building, started building the yeshiva. And the great Chazon Ish said, tears are good. But let me tell you whose tears are building this yeshiva. Not my tears, but my mother's tears. Mothers, are you listening? Listen to a mother's tears. And he said, about 50 years ago, there was a great snowstorm. We were in Europe at the time, and we wanted to go to yeshiva. And the night before, my mom told us, there's a tremendous snowstorm, how are we gonna to go to school tomorrow? It was me, I was about seven or eight, the rabbi said. My older brother was 11, and I had another brother that was nine. My mom said, we have one pair of boots and one winter coat. Who of you wants to go to yeshiva? The 11 year old said, I must go. Tomorrow we are starting to learn Tosafot. The nine year old said, I must go. Tomorrow we're learning Gemara. And I said, I must go because I am learning Mishnah. This is what the great Rabbi, ha, the great Rav, who was building the Ponovich Yeshiva said when he was a small boy of seven or eight. So the mom said, we're gonna have a lottery to see which boy merits to go to the Yeshiva. And in the morning, I'll tell you who won the lottery. The next morning, the mom wakes up the oldest boy and she says, come, you're going to yeshiva. The boy said, mom, I won the lottery. I get to go to yeshiva. And the mom said, no, I won the lottery. I, I'm going to wear the boots. I'm going to put you on my shoulders. We're going to put the coat over us and I'm going to walk you the half hour to the yeshiva. She walked him to the yeshiva. She came back. She woke up the next boy, the nine-year-old. And she said, my dear son, we're going to yeshiva. He said, mom, I won the lottery. I get to go. She said, no, I won the lottery. I'm going to take you. She put on the boots, put the coat over him, put him on her shoulders and walked him the half hour to the yeshiva through the snow. She came back and she woke up this boy who became the rabbi who built the great Panovich yeshiva. And at that time he was about seven or eight. And she said to him, let's go. We're going to yeshiva. He said, mom, I won the lottery. 
He said, no, she said, I won the lottery. I get the merit to bring you to yeshiva. She put on the boots, she put on the coat over him, and she carried him the half hour to yeshiva. And as she carried him, as she carried him, she was singing a song. A song that is a famous song. Ashreinu matov chelkenu. Awa ashreinu matov chelkenu. That song is what she was singing. What did that mean? Ashreinu, how fortunate we are. Matov, how good. Chelkenu, our portion. And she sang with her son as they walked to the yeshiva. How fortunate I am that I, the mom, can merit to bring my son to yeshiva. Those tears, those tears of that mother is what built the great Panovich yeshiva. Ladies, men, every one of you is sacrificing to send your son to yeshiva. Your, your tears, your struggle to pay the tuition, to drive your, your son here, put him on the bus, sacrifice. That's what you're doing. Those tears are what's gonna build your child's future. Each and every child here has a brilliant future. There is no Jewish child that isn't valuable. There is no Jewish child, there is no Berhagola child, there is no Berhagola child that doesn't have a brilliant future. But that brilliant future is yours because you, you are crying. You're struggling and you're doing the right thing by sending him to yeshiva. Those tears will build your child's brilliant future. Each and every child here has a beautiful, brilliant future. And the Jewish nation cannot survive without your child. There is no Jew that the Jewish nation can survive without. Tonight, we celebrate you. You the mother, you the father that are straining yourself to send your child to yeshiva. Let's have a round of applause for you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>